What's up, everybody? I'm going to go ahead and kick off a whole new video series. Uh, the last one I did, which was the Server Basics video series, um, I've had a lot of people, I've had a lot of good comments on those videos. And also, I had quite a few people asking me to help them with their virtual machines, their networking for the virtual machines, and whatnot, because their client machines can't connect to. Um, the domain controller won't be able to join. I figured I would walk you through the way I set up my lab environment using VirtualBox. Um, on my new computer back here, uh, I have plenty of space and plenty of RAM and, and the CPU can handle it just fine. So what I'm planning on doing is, and I brought out the whiteboard for this one because uh, I don't know, it was in the, in the back here. I was using it for homework and I figured, why not try to use it for a video? I don't know. So anyways, what we have here, and I'm no artist, so bear with me. So what I have going on here is, let's draw a picture of my computer tower. Okay, this is my computer tower. Look at that awesome drawing, right? Okay, within this computer, what I'm, gonna, what I'm planning on doing is setting up three virtual machines. And if you're watching this video, I'm sure you guys understand virtual machines and what they are and somewhat how to set them up. But I figure why not just, I'll show you guys how I set mine up. So I got to give this uh, three-dimensional look here. Um, so on my main computer, I'm going to be hosting three computers. One of them you guys already know is going to be the domain controller. So it's going to be your server, your Windows 2012 or 2008 R2 or whatever it's going to be. What I'm going to be doing is running the 2012. I think it's like a release candidate or something. So this is going to be 2012, and this board is wobbly, uh, server. I don't know if you can see that in the video. Hopefully, uh, the second one's going to be a client, client. So this is going to be server. The second one's going to be the pretend client, which is going to be running uh, Windows 8 RC. It's release, release candidate or release preview or whatever it is. And the third one we're going to be doing, this is the first time I've done, I've done this in a virtual environment, so I'll be learning it as I go too. I want to set up uh, a router, a firewall. And the one in particular I want to use is called PFSense. And this is going to be, I'm just going to call it firewall slash router if I can write. So anyways, this is going to be our, our virtual environment here. Uh, main PC or also known as the host. Okay. Now in my mind, or from past experiences, I like setting up an environment similar to this. I, I don't. I, I would prefer to have a physical machine set up, but uh, in the reality of things, I don't have the resources for that anymore. I sold a lot of junk. So what what we're going to use to do this, or what I use, is VirtualBox. It's free. It's by Oracle, and um, there's a lot of tutorials and a lot of how tos out there. On how to set that up, we'll 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 go from start to finish, and uh, and hopefully here within the next week or so, we'll have all three of these set up and working and networking properly. Uh, just a real quick tidbit of information: this firewall here, we're gonna have two NICs on it. We're gonna have NIC one and NIC two. NIC one is gonna allow these computers to go out this computer and out to the internet. NIC2 is going to allow these three machines to communicate with each other. And I think that's where a lot of people have problems. Um, this should also eliminate VirtualBox from uh, trying to hand out DHCP addresses because there was a lot of confusion on that as well in the past. What do you guys think? Uh, is there anything uh, from the get-go you would like to see, like me to add into the first video? First video, I already have VirtualBox installed. So we'll just get right into creating these virtual machines and getting them networked. 